There are things happening on the land that are very disturbing. Some of our lakes have become unswimmable. Some of our well water has become undrinkable. Elders can't predict a lot of the weather patterns or what is known in our traditional ecological knowledge. It's affecting the maple. It affects the trees. Some of the birds are not even flying south anymore. The medicines that we used to be able to find, we can't find them anymore. We know that the animals are going to suffer. And if the animals suffer and the land suffers, we're going to suffer. Communities are slipping into the ocean in the Arctic, or their houses are literally sinking into the permafrost. And it feels like the only people that are like being like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Have been indigenous communities calling for an end to these things. Transition needs to happen now. We need to stop doing what we've been doing and begin something new. That's where this idea of indigenous climate action has really come from. This idea that indigenous peoples aren't just the first to be impacted, but can be the first people to provide solutions that are grounded in more than just economic solutions. Canada and its whole system, its whole economic paradigm is fundamentally out of sync with what real tangible action on climate looks like. What I see from grassroots movements like ICA, Idle No More, they're putting together plans that are ambitious and something that actually reflects the type of knowledges that we're talking about all the time when we talk about indigenous knowledge. We are our own experts. We don't have to translate ourselves all the time through the lens of the mainstream. We want to work towards a recognition of our fundamental role as, uh, as the leaders in this discussion. Because we can't just be addressing climate from a science perspective. We have to be addressing it from a human rights perspective and an indigenous rights perspective. Indigenous climate actions and other indigenous-led initiatives and mobilizations are gonna be critical to making that happen in the most effective way.